Good afternoon, YouTubers. The new time travel high me 88. I'm back with another Star Trek toy review. And today, I got another Star Trek toy I want to show you guys. It's the long-winded review of USS Enterprise NCC-1701 Refit. This toy is made by Diamond Select and Art Asylum. Look how much this toy is detailed. I really love it. This toy is awesome. And, well, replica too. Yep. This is a 2014 re-release. And the reason why they re-released the toy after a lot of people um, does not like they don't like the deflector dish and the impulse engines painted black. But they correct the mistakes and add a slightly different paint job on it. Anyway, let me put the toy to the side. And let me show you what the packaging box comes in. Alright, here we go. Here's Star Trek Starship Legend. USS Enterprise NCC-1701 Electronic Starship Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. They should... They should put the word refit to avoid confusion with the the classic series USS Enterprise. That's what DST forgot it. Also, here's the picture of Captain Kirk in a classic uniform era. Well, he didn't wear it in the movies, but they should wear it for, put it on the picture on the movie era logo. But this was the close with Diamond Select toys have. Here's the following phrases. Here's the box up top. Star Trek USS Enterprise NCC-1701 Electronic Starship. Here's the picture of the Enterprise refitted. Starship Legends. On the side. Other side. Here's the back, Starship Legends, Star Trek. Authentic USS Enterprise, NCC-1701, real movie sound, light up action, warp nacelles, impulse engines, bridge and deflector. Here's a picture of the Enterprise, other goodie toys from Diamond Select. Here's the description. Doesn't tell you the information of the refitted Enterprise. But I got the information from the website called ussenterprise.go.uk. There will be in the link in the description. This toy is awesome. Look at detailing. The ship is painted in a metallic, pearlistic appearances. Got the registry number in nice and crisp on there. The phaser banks are added on there. Here's the strips and also added. Here's the deflector crystals. The officer lounge. Here's the docking port located up top right here. That's when Spock docked his Vulcan shuttle in Star Trek The Motion Picture. Here's the impulse engines. NCC-1701 United Federation Planets. Also right here. Here and there. And here's the impulse engines on light up blue. Here's the word Starship USS Enterprise United Federation Planets. The windows are painted black. Here's a docking port painted red. All the windows are painted on there. Here's the word Starship USS Enterprise United Federation of Planets. Once more, Starship USS Enterprise, United Federation of Planets. Here's the detailing down on the bottom, NCC-1701. Here's the word Enterprise. There's another one, Raisin Stripes on it. Same thing, Starship USS Enterprise, United Federation of Planets. There's a painting right here that was missing in the 2005 re-release. 
Here's the deflected dish paint are blue, not black. The photon torpedo. Let me set the camera down. And this toy also comes with the display stand. Let me put the ship in the display stand. I do apologize. I don't have the tripod with me. But here's what the toy looked like. In 2270, the Enterprise returned to space dock after historic five-year mission under the command of Captain Kirk. The ship was refitted, updated where the deflector dish, the new sleeker warp nacelle replaced the bizarre collectors, the impulse um, crystals, whoa, right up here, and the photon torpedo housing on there. The Enterprise was took command, was refitted in 2271 during a V'ger crisis destroying Earth. The Enterprise retired as a starship and became a training vessel in 2278. The ship sustained heavy damage in 2285 with Kirk's nemesis Khan get the hands on Genesis. The ship was self-destruct in 2285 and keep the Klingons out of hands. This ship is, I mean, the toy is well redesigned. They repainted slightly different paint job and the, they took care of the light bleed issues. Let me go ahead and run the sound effects real quick. Enjoy. I don't like to lose. Let them eat static. Wow, this toy is awesome. I really love it. The Diamond Select did a wonderful job. They took care of the light bleeds. They painted inside black. And also, a lot of people don't like the deflector dish being light up black. But they brought the toy back to a natural color blue. The same goes with the impulse engines. They're red this time, not black. This toy is awesome. Let me do you um, a size comparison. Let me uh, put the toy right here to the side. And here is the Reef Enterprise A. You can see there's dull gray, no lot of detailing works on there. But the ship is itself is perilistic. And look at the detailing. Yep. But don't worry. The Enterprise A will also get a re-release in, in January. This ship also comes with... I mean, the toy comes with the nice instructions. And also... The extra battery cover on it. I'd like to send a shout out to bartender Dave, Dave S, that Trekkie girl, and Renee Wolverton. And to Darkman, what do you think of this re-release toy? If you haven't got this toy, I recommend to pick it up. And if you don't have it, then if you're not interested in it, there's an alternate option. You can get the classic, I mean the original 2007 re-release of this refitted toy. All right, that's it from here. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.